I'm Joshua Finn from JNH Aerospace. This is the build video for the 2020 Senior Flyer from JNH Aerospace for Science Olympiad competition. This is a Wright Stuff Legal airplane, features uh, biplane configuration, an adjustable tail. Let me just show you that part so that we can turn either direction to get the maximum out of your flight bonus points that are allowed in competition. I've done a fair amount of testing with this airplane. Looks like it will do about 70 or 80 seconds with good uh, trimming on your part. And so I look forward to seeing what, uh, what students are able to do with these this year. So let's get started with the build and uh, we'll, we'll have some fun. Okay, so to get started, let's pop this kit open. And we'll do an inventory of what's inside. So the first thing that you're going to get out are these um, quarter inch square balsa sticks. So you'll have two of these that are about 16 inches and then two more that are 5 inches. And these will be used to make your wing covering frame. You'll have a folded up set of a piece of uh, two mil covering for your flying surfaces. You'll have three propellers, a block of clay. You're going to have a bunch of rubber, and you're going to use this both for your flying and for the wing hold downs and the tail hold down. piece of uh, O20 piano wire, and then you'll have these dihedral gauges, which you'll notice these little guys right here, those are your mounts for your propeller bearings. This uh, sheet of 1 8 inch balsa is your fuselage or motor stick assembly, wing mount, etc. Three sets of wing ribs. These are your uh, wing mounts, uh, wing posts, um, and your uh, rudder alignment guide. Bracket, I guess is a better term. And then this is your sheet of wing spars and tail boom assembly and your, uh, your rudders. Inside your hardware packet you'll have three of these little bearing assemblies for your propellers. You'll have a piece of 1 16th aluminum tubing, some spider wire um, binding thread, and then this is a piece of O-ring tubing for your rubber motors. So what we're going to do is we'll pop out a set of wing spars here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the assembly for one wing. You're going to, of course, make two wings for this airplane. And in theory, everything should drop out of here just fine just by clipping these uh, laser tabs. We'll go ahead and hit up my second wing here while I'm at it. Like I said, things should drop out of here just fine. Sometimes you need a little encouragement and you want to be careful that you don't break any of the these little gusset components because those help you line up your ribs real nice. And that's the beauty of this uh, design is you don't have to worry about 
uh, any jigs or anything to get all of that right. Let me go ahead and see if I can get my second one out of here. Come on. There we go. And it's okay if you break off some of these this carrier sheet stuff. And then make sure all the little bits come out of the notches here. And you do want to make sure there's no trash in these uh, notches because the ribs have to go all the way in them or your wing will end up over the wing cord limit and then you have an illegal airplane. Now we'll go ahead and pop out a bunch of ribs here as well and I'm just gonna knock all of these guys out. So there'll be ribs floating around everywhere. You do get a couple of extra ribs per kit, so bear that in mind too. Um, and I shouldn't say per kit, I mean per uh, rib set here, so um, that way if you break a couple, you're alright. So there's a bunch of ribs, and we'll get our stab ribs out too. Get an extra stab rib per set. I'm not going to knock those out yet though because we'll come back to them. So to make a wing, line all these ribs up, you should, um, you'll need five ribs per wing. So we'll set those up there. And if you notice, these are more curved on one side than the other. So you want to pay very close attention to that. Have all the sharp curved one uh, ends together like that. Now there's no front and rear wing spar but the ribs are front and rears. There we go. And then this um, notch like this goes on the inside of the wing. So grab some CA glue. And you can either start in the middle or out on the tips. I kind of prefer to start out on the tips here. And what I'm going to do is just glue in ribs. Yeah, stop that. Like that. And you do, if, if you have a straight edge or something to help line this up, that uh, is very helpful because you don't want your wings skewed or anything like that. Now like your center rib here and your dihedral ribs will all tend to line up um, a little easier. Now this one, um, one thing you want to pay attention to is, some t is balsa is not always cut to the most exacting standards, so that rib was a really tight fit and you've got to, like I said, you've got to force that guy all the way in there. Now, one of the things that you'll find is the center rib actually needs to be trimmed back a little bit. So, I'm going to take that off, because otherwise the spar bows out. Um, with the uh, production kits, in theory, I'm going to have a, um, a rib in there that is not like that. Um, you know, a short rib, so keep an eye on your, your rib sets for that because uh, there should be one in there on the production kits. We do these build videos with rejects, so um, sometimes things are a little less quality in the uh, videos, and we try to supply you with better quality stuff when you actually buy it. All of the ribs are now in place, and I'm going to work my way kind of in on this. So we'll put in these two dihedral ribs. Um, I'm having a, what I'm doing is I'm pinching the uh, rib here so it fits in. And the reason for that is, like I said, this um, is supposed to be 1 16th balsa. But uh, the manufacturers don't always have great quality control, and so this is 
Insert point zero six two five inch balsa is more like point oh seven oh or something like that. That's inches for those of you that don't know. And there we go. Got the tape sticking to me. And then lastly, we'll hit up the center rim. It looks like I still have it a little bit long there. And we'll squirt some glue in. And in he goes. And so there you have a completed wing. So we'll come back uh, when I get the second wing put together, and then we'll look at the stab after that. So we now have two wings, and we will set these aside. Um, dihedral for these wings comes in later after they're covered. Okay, so let's uh, pop these stab spars out. So we'll grab a set from right here. And so we'll set them like that with their notches, their respective notches opposing each other. And then we'll pop out this set of stab ribs that we freed up earlier. At least I thought we did. Maybe. And again, keep these lined up with each other because there is a front and back to them. Um, Go ahead and pinch these because I think they're still a little fat. And I'm going to stick the center rib in first. And we'll go ahead and glue up both ends of it. Like so. And like so. Mine's actually trying to go a little crooked on me. Better. There we go. Yeah. Let go of me. There we go. There is a completed horizontal stab, so we'll set it aside up there on the wings. And you've got these sets of um, rudder parts here. And these, you'll have to get a little creative as far as arranging them out to figure out what's going on. But you've got this part here that's kind of swept this way and this way. And this lo other long piece is the top of it, and it does have a bevel on one side. No, that doesn't show up real well, but you can see it's beveled that way. So we'll set it right here. And then you'll have another corresponding piece that goes down at the bottom that's also beveled. This way. And then we'll have this back piece, which is not really particularly beveled either way. But what we're going to do is we're going to line up on it. There we have a completed rudder. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.